Hi, my name is Sam. I'm from RoadyResource.com, and today we are going to wire a A-type PowerCon connector made by Neutrik. This is the power in version of this connector. We need just an X-Acto knife for this project. I'm not even using a wire stripper, just a tool that you may have with you in the field. I'm also using a three conductor AC cable. First, let's take apart our connector and have a look at it. We can do that by twisting off the boot. And we can pop out the clamp and the insert, and there we have the barrel. There's our four parts. Before we forget, we'll take the boot and slide it over the end of our cable, making sure the thread is facing the cut end of the cable. Next, we'll want to strip our wire, and I'm doing that using just an X-Acto knife, and I'll cut about three quarters of an inch or so, uh, maybe even half inch, uh, from the ends of the cable, and I'm just trying to uh, cut through the black insulation right now, not the wires inside. So cut very lightly and you can bend this over like so and pull that right off. And there's our three leads inside. We have our ground, the live and the neutral. Let's strip those by again at about a uh, quarter of an inch from the end going around the cable being very careful while you're doing this again maybe even using a cable stripper if you wanted to be safe I don't advise doing it this way but this is great if you only have an exact knife and bending those over and pulling those off once again just like we did with the uh, black insulation yeah that one needs to be cut a bit more but we can do this green one here there's the green one and we'll just cut that one a little bit more on that side There we go. Gave me a little bit of trouble, but uh, there we are. We have our wires stripped about a quarter of an inch from the end, and we'll twist the wires together so they stay together. There's, uh, and there's our three wires stripped, and now we'll pick up the insert and have a look at it. We will see three screw terminals, and uh, I forgot to mention we also need a Phillips screwdriver for this project. And uh, we'll see our three screw terminals. We have one marked N, which is our neutral. We have one with a ground symbol, which is our ground. And one with L, which is live. I'll, I'll first connect the ground wire, which goes in the middle one. And I'll push that in there and tighten that using my Phillips screwdriver. Making sure to get it nice and tight so that won't pull out. There's one. Next we will connect our live, which is our black wire in my case, to the live screw terminal, or the one marked with the L. And I will tighten that one. Once again, getting that nice and tight. And I'll connect our neutral over here in the screw terminal marked with the N. Whoops, and we'll twist those together just so they don't fray everywhere. And I'll put that in. And I could have almost uh, have stripped that with uh, a bit more room to work with, but uh, 
Sure, there's better. You don't uh, you don't need a lot of extra play there. There's just enough room to stretch that cable out. And there we go. There's our three leads connected. The live, the ground, and the neutral. We'll take our insert or our barrel, or rather, and slide that over like that. And our clamp we can open up by finding where the cut is in it and slipping that around. And Neutrik uh, provides you with two different sizes of clamps uh, depending on what size of cable diameter you're working with. And slide that over and I'll take our boot and twist it on. And for now I'm just going to do this hand tight but you could also attach a adjustable wrench to this and make it even tighter. So there is the A-Type PowerCon connector made by Neutrik. I'm Sam from RoadyResource.com.